hi guys welcome back to my channel so it's been three days since i finished my finger coils and remember i said i wasn't going to wear it for a long time i only wanted to try it before baby because i know that i will not have the luxury to spend doing my hair like this so i need to wash it and then put my hair in protective styling to prepare for my delivery and postpartum before i start make sure you're subscribed and also hit the notification button so that you will get a notification every time i post so let's get into the takedown so so to start i am going to mix this tresemme conditioner with my hair growth oil this is my hair growth oil um i'm gonna put a video up here <laughs> all there for you to have a look so i'm going to just add some oil into this okay so that's enough so there we are with the oil and the conditioner i'm just gonna mix it with my hands so now that it's all mixed up i am going to put it in my hair so first start with spraying your hair with some water just to get everything moving. Don't be shy with the conditioner because you really want to saturate your hair with it. So make sure you're getting all your roots and your hairline and everywhere that you need the conditioner to get to. And once you're done, clamp it away and then move on to the next section. I went off camera to finish saturating my hair with the conditioner and oil. I'm going to put it away under a plastic bag or if you've got a heat cap that will do for 30 minutes just to make sure that the conditioner and oil really seep into my hair to make everything really soft before the takedown. So I'm back. It's been definitely more than an hour. Went to have lunch, watched a documentary. <laughs> yeah, this is how I get when it comes to doing my hair lazy. So now that I'm back, I am going to go ahead and undo each section so the technique that i'm using is because i twisted my hair in a particular direction i am just going to untwist in the opposite direction to undo the coils so honestly with this i don't even need to um finger detangle much because i detangled before putting these twists in and it's only been three days i'm not really getting any fallout at all because like i said it's only been three days and my hair was thoroughly detangled my hair was also in a braid in a braid out before so it was already pretty stretched before i did it so yeah guys this wasn't actually bad it's taking 10 minutes to detangle this bit and i've seen people where it's taken four hours so that's not too bad it could also be the fact that um that i've only worn these for for three days and it's been up in a in a ponytail under my my under my head scarf so that could be the reason why it's not tangled so much because I didn't have it in for long. So keep that in mind. If you keep yours in for a month, you may be combing out some locks. <laughs> but yeah, this is so easy guys. I didn't expect it to be this easy. Do you know what? I also think that the fact that I have recently trimmed my ends may have helped so there it is it's still very coily at the ends so the coils are still alive 
as you can see my ends are very coiled so I'm going to twist it away so yeah here we are took about 10 minutes so I assume these four sections will take me 40 minutes not bad so it's been an hour and I'm all done detangling I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it now I have also started separating my crown which is a huge problem area because it used to be really really thick but it keeps thinning out and my crown is very sensitive so I actually got this tip from Green Beauty years ago and I never really bothered to try it because sometimes I just don't care enough yeah so I'm going to incorporate that into my hair routine and see how that goes so thank you for watching let me know what you think about finger coils do you think it's worth the hustle and also let me know how you take it down if you've got any tips and tricks to make the process a lot quicker so until next time make sure you're subscribed and I shall see you in my next video bye